Gurmukhi IPA MKI Gurmukhi the literal meaning being from the guru's mouth Gurmukhi is a Sikh script modified, standardized and used by the second Sikh guru, Guru Angad Gurmukhi is used by Sikhs and Punjabi Hindus to write the Punjabi language, a language that is also written in Perso-Arabic Shamukhi script by Punjabi Muslims. The primary scripture of Sikhism, Guru Granth Sahib is written in Gurmukhi, in various dialects often subsumed under the generic title San Basha. Modern Gurmukhi has 38 consonants akhar, 10 vowel symbols laga matra, 2 symbols for nasal sounds bindi and tipi, and 1 symbol which duplicates the sound of any consonant attic. In addition, four conjuncts are used, three subjoined forms of the consonants rara, ha ha and vava, and one half form of yaya. Use of the conjunct forms of vava and yaya is increasingly scarce in modern contexts. Origins <inaudible> 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 The Gurmukhi script has roots in the Brahmi script like most Indian, Tibetan, and Southeast Asian languages. In a cursory look, the Gurmukhi script appears different from other Indic scripts such as Bengali, Oriya, Tibetan or Devanagari, but a closer examination reveals they are similar except for angles and structural emphasis. Notable features It is an abugida in which all consonants have an inherent vowel. Diacritics, which can appear above, below, before or after the consonant they belong to, are used to change the inherent vowel. When they appear at the beginning of a syllable, vowels are written as independent letters. When certain consonants occur together, special conjunct symbols are used which combine the essential parts of each letter. Punjabi is a tonal language with three tones. These are indicated in writing using the voiced aspirated consonants gh, dh, bh, etc. and the intervocalic h. There are two major theories on how the proto gurmukhi script emerged in the 15th century. G. B. Singh 1950, while quoting al-Biruni's Tariq al-Hind says that the script evolved from Ardhanagari. Al-Biruni writes that the Ardhanagari script was used in Batinda and western parts of the Punjab in the 10th century. For some time, Batinda remained the capital of the kingdom of Bhati Rajputs of the Pal clan, who ruled North India before the Muslims occupied the country. According to Al-Biruni, Ardhanagari was a mixture of Devanagari used in Ujjain and Malwa and Siddha Matrika or the last stage of Siddham script, a variant of the Sarada script used in Kashmir. This theory is confusing as Gurmukhi characters have a very close resemblance to Siddh Matrika. Inscriptions found at several sacred wells in Punjab as Singh notes, one being the Hathar inscription dating to just before the birth of Guru Nanak. Siddh Matrika seems to have been the prevalent script for devotional writings in Punjab right up to the founding of Sikhism, after which its successor Gurmukhi appears. Pritam Singh 1992 has also traced the origins of Gurmukhi to the Siddha Matrika. Siddha Matrika, along with its sister Takri alphabet has its origins in the Sarada script of Kashmir. Tarlakan Singh Bedi 1999 writes that the Gurmukhi script developed in the 10 to 14 th centuries from the Devasisha stage of the Sarada script, the intermediate phase being Siddha Matrika, before the final evolution into Gurmukhi. His argument is that from the 10th century, regional differences started to appear between the Sarada script used in Punjab, the hill states partly Himachal Pradesh and Kashmir. The regional Sarada script evolved from this stage until the 14th century, when it starts to appear in the form of Gurmukhi. Indian epigraphists call this stage Devasisha, while Bedi prefers the name Pritham Gurmukhi or Proto Gurmukhi. The Sikh gurus adopted Proto Gurmukhi to write the Guru Granth Sahib, the religious scriptures of the Sikhs. Other contemporary scripts used in the Punjab were Takri and the Landa scripts. The Takri alphabet developed through the Devasisha stage of the Sarada script and is found mainly in the hill states such as Chamba, Himachal Pradesh, where it is called Chambiali, and in Jammu division, where it is known as Dagri. The local Takri variants got the status of official scripts in some of the Punjab hill states, and were used for both administrative and literary purposes until the 19th century. After 1948, when Himachal Pradesh was established as an administrative unit, the local Takri variants were replaced by Devanagari. Meanwhile, the mercantile scripts of Punjab known as the Landa scripts were normally not used for literary purposes. Landa means alphabet, without tail, implying that the script did not have vowel symbols. 
In Punjab, there were at least ten different scripts classified as Landa, Mahajani being the most popular. The Landa scripts were used for household and trade purposes. Compared to the Landa, Sikh gurus favored the use of proto gurmukhi because of the difficulties involved in pronouncing words without vowel signs. The usage of Gurmukhi letters in Guru Granth Sahib meant that the script developed its own orthographical rules. In the following epics, Gurmukhi became the prime script applied for literary writings of the Sikhs. Later in the 20th century, the script was given the authority as the official script of the Punjab, India. <laughs> Gurmukhi Punjabi The word Gurmukhi translates as, from the mouth of the Guru. Guru Angad is credited in the Sikh tradition with the Gurmukhi script, which is now the standard writing script for Punjabi language in India, in contrast to Punjabi language in Pakistan where now an Arabic script called Nastalik is the standard. The original Sikh scriptures and most of the historic Sikh literature have been written in the Gurmukhi script. Topic Alphabet Topic Consonants The Gurmukhi alphabet contains thirty five letters. The first three are distinct because they form the basis for vowels and are not consonants, and except for era are never used on their own. See the section on vowels for further details. Na and ya are rarely used. They cannot begin a syllable or be placed between two consonants, and occur most often as an allophone of n before specific consonant phonemes. The pronunciation of va will vary between v and w depending on the word. A grave accent equals tonal consonant. To differentiate between consonants, the Punjabi tonal consonants ka, cha, ta, ta, and pa are often transliterated in the way of the Hindi voiced aspirate consonants gha, ja, da, dha, and bha respectively, although Punjabi does not have these sounds. Tones in Punjabi can be either rising or falling, in the pronunciation of Gurmukhi letters they are falling, hence the grave accent as opposed to the acute. In addition to these, there are six consonants created by placing a dot bindi at the foot pair of the consonant these are not present in Sri Guru Granth Sahib. These are used most often for loanwords, though not exclusively. LLPBNI was only recently added to the Gurmukhi alphabet. It was not a part of the traditional orthography, the phonological difference between l and was not reflected in the script. Some sources do not consider it a separate letter. Subjoined letters 3. Subscript letters are utilized in Gurmukhi, forms of ha, h, ra, r, and va, v. Ra r and va v are used to make consonant clusters and behave similarly. Subjoined ha h raises tone. Subjoined ra r, for example, the letter pa p with a regular ra r following it would yield the word para pr, but, but with a subjoined ra would appear as pra pr, resulting in a consonant cluster, as in the word prabada prbnd, management, government. Subjoined va v, somewhat less common in modern usage. For example, sa followed by a regular va would yield sava svi as in the word savura svir, morning, but with a subjoined va would produce sva svi as in the word svaraga svir, heaven. Subjoined ha h behaves the same way as the regular ha h in non-word initial positions. The regular ha h is pronounced at the beginning of words but not in other positions, where it instead raises the tone. The difference in usage is that the regular ha is used after vowels and the subscript version when there is no vowel, and is attached to consonants. For example, the regular ha is used after vowels as in miha transliterated as mih, to show tonality, m, rain. The subjoined ha h acts the same way but instead is used under consonants, ka ch followed by ra r yields kara ker, but not until the rising tone is introduced via a subscript ha h does it properly spell the word karha ch climb. <laughs> Vowels Gurmukhi is similar to Brahmi scripts in that all consonants are followed by an inherent a sound unless at the end of a word when the a is usually dropped. 
This inherent vowel sound can be changed by using dependent vowel signs which attach to a bearing consonant. In some cases, dependent vowel signs cannot be used, at the beginning of a word or syllable for instance, and so an independent vowel character is used instead. Independent vowels are constructed using three bearer characters, ura, ira, a and iri, with the exception of ira which represents the vowel a, they are never used without additional vowel signs. Dotted circles represent the bearer consonant. Vowels are always pronounced after the consonant they are attached to. Thus, sihari is always written to the left, but pronounced after the character on the right. Topic: <laughs> Vowel examples. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Other signs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Nasalization, tippy and bindi. Tippy and bindi m are used for producing a nasal phoneme depending on the following obstruent or a nasal vowel at the end of a word. All short vowels use tippy and all long vowels are paired with bindi except for dulongkar, u which uses tippy instead. Older texts may follow other conventions. Bindi m is also used for nasalization. Topic: <laughs> Gemination, attic. The use of attic, indicates that the following consonant is geminate. This means that the subsequent consonant is doubled or reinforced. Halent The halent, character is not used when writing Punjabi in Gurmukhi. However, it may occasionally be used in Sanskritized text or in dictionaries for extra phonetic information. When it is used, it represents the suppression of the inherent vowel. The effect of this is shown below. Ka k k k. Topic: Visarg. The Visarg symbol U plus O A O three is used very occasionally in Gurmukhi. It can either represent an abbreviation like period as used in English or it can act like a Sanskrit visarga where a voiceless h sound is pronounced after the vowel. Topic: <laughs> udat. The udat symbol u plus o a 51 occurs in older texts and indicates a high tone. Topic: Numerals Gurmukhi has its own set of digits, used exactly as in other versions of the Hindu Arabic numeral system. These are used extensively in older texts. In modern contexts, they have been replaced by standard Western Arabic numerals. <laughs> Unicode Gurmukhi script was added to the Unicode standard in October, 1991 with the release of version 1.0. Many sites still use proprietary fonts that convert Latin ASCII codes to Gurmukhi glyphs. The Unicode block for Gurmukhi is U plus OA00 U plus OA7F. <laughs> Digitization of Gurmukhi manuscripts Punjab Digital Library has taken up digitization of all available manuscripts of Gurmukhi script. The script is just 500 years old, hence a lot of literature written in all these years is still traceable. Punjab Digital Library has digitized over 5 million pages from different manuscripts and most of them are available online. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Following books, articles have been written on the origins of the Gurmukhi script all in the Punjabi language Gurbox G.B. Singh. Gurmukhi Lippi da Janam Te Vikas. Chandigarh, Punjab University, 1950. Isher Singh Tag, Dr. Gurmukhi Lippi da Vigyamulak Adyan. Patiala, J.O.D.H. Singh Karamjit Singh. Kala Singh Bedi, Dr. Lippi da Vikas. Patiala, Punjabi University, 1995. Kartar Singh Dhaka. 
Gurmukhi Te Hindi Da Takra, 1948. Piara Singh Padam, Professor. Gurmukhi Lippi Da Idiyas. Patiala, Kaljadar Kalam Foundation Kalam Mandir, 1953. Prem Parkish Singh, Drive. Gurmukhi D. Utpati. Khoj Patrika, Patiala, Punjabi University. Pritam Singh, Professor. Gurmukhi Lippi. Khoj Patrika. p. 110, Vol. 36, 1992. Patiala, Punjabi University. Sohan Singh Galatra. Punjab Dayan Lipia. Tarlakan Singh Bedi, Dr. Gurmukhi Lippi Da Janam Te Vikas. Patiala, Punjabi University, 1999. See also Punjabi Braille Shamuki alphabet Devanagari <laughs>